What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel, and today I'm going to show you my brand new swim bait setup. Today I'm going to unbox my new swim bait setup for the very first time and uh, just talk about, you know, what I decided to go with after some research um, for my first swim bait setup ever. Uh, just a nice budget entry into swim bait fishing. Talk about my first impressions of it, how it feels, and uh, let you guys know exactly what I got. So let's check it out. Oh boy. So after much research, oh man, this thing's, whoa, it's way lighter than I thought it was. I got a Dobbins Fury eight foot heavy Swim bait rod. Sweet. Whoa, it's way lighter than I thought it was. Holy crap. Whoa. Damn, it's so tall I hit the ceiling with it. Wow. There she is. This thing is light. Very cool. Man, this thing's got 12, 12 guides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 12 plus the tip, which is great. That's usually a really good sign of a good rod. The more, the more line guides you have on, on your rod, that's usually a sign that it's a good quality rod. Um, so there's a little tip for you if you don't know that already. More line guides means more quality, I think. That's usually the case. Really nice. Wow. This thing feels awesome, man. It's like really sturdy, but light. Wow. It's got a little bit of tip, but not too much. Oh man, I'm so stoked to use this. So first impressions of this rod, man, it is light. It is way lighter than I thought it was going to be for an eight foot heavy swim bait rod. Um, it's definitely super sturdy. Not, not too much tip, but there's, I think there's a little bit of tip. It's technically a fast action tip. So you can kind of see pretty sturdy, man. Not too much tip, but I think enough tip. So you're going to be able to, to work those glide baits and, and certain certain baits like that. The handle um, is like a foam foam grip, skinnier than I thought. It actually kind of tapers down, I think. It's a little thicker here, and then kind of gets a little skinnier down here. Good looking, really nice. Um, I had my eye on another one that was like a cork handle, but I decided to go with this just from recommendations of uh, other people. And yeah, it feels good, it's got the, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's got the green logo on there, Dobbins Fury Series. See, see that? I don't know if it'll zoom in. And then it's a, the specs on it, it the rod is an FR806 SB, eight foot, heavy action, one piece swim bait rod. So swim baits and umbrella rigs. It holds 20 to 40 pound test, I guess that's mono, and uh, it'll throw a two to eight ounce lure. So I think that's perfect for me. Yeah, heavy, fast action. It should be perfect, you know. I wasn't trying to throw like monster ten ounce uh, baits. I think two to eight is is just going to be perfect. It feels really nice, man. I'm I'm really really excited about it. Super light. I can't believe how light this thing is. I was um, I used a buddy of mine's swim bait setup a couple weeks ago because I didn't have one yet, and he's like, yeah, I'll just bring me one of my old ones. And this thing was like so heavy man my arm felt like it was going to fall off a couple hours into fishing but this thing man i feel like i'll be able to throw all day no problem i'm stoked super stoked it was 130 bucks on tackle warehouse 129.99 plus tax yeah man stoked up it's really nice it's really nice i'm, I'm excited i really am feels good really really nice i don't even know if you can see you know i mean this Seems eight feet. I'm six. I don't want to scratch the. Uh... Oh well, I guess our ceilings are. Hey, babe, how about that? Our ceilings are higher than eight feet. No way. 
Yeah. Yeah, speaking of ceilings, uh, as you can see behind me here, we got a freshly spackled wall. Actually, Jamie did it. Good job, babe. Thank you. I got, we got to sand them a little bit, but they look pretty good. But yeah, we're moving, man. We're going to move uh, closer to the lake. Ha! Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Moving closer to the lake. Um, but yeah, we're actually picking up the keys to our new place today, so uh, really stoked about that. So this place is an absolute disaster, and uh, we got to get settled in. That's why I decided to make some purchases and start loading up my arsenal and getting ready for war because I'm not going to be uh, fishing for, well, I'll probably sneak off to the lake at some point in the next coming week, but I'm not going to have like too, too much time to go in the next week or so. So, um, but yeah, man, first impressions, this rod feels really nice, especially for $130. Um, I think this is going to be a, the perfect entry point into swim bait fishing. And as far as the reel, the reel that I chose is a Shimano Cardiff 401A. Um, a lot of guys were recommending the 301A. My, my buddy told me to get the four, holds more line. So uh, I trust him, he knows his stuff. So went with the 401A. He likes to make fun of me though, because of the left, the left crank. But uh, that's just what I'm used to, man. You know, I, I can, I can, I can do it the other way around. It's just, I, I just feel like, you know, I have so much more power in my right arm and I just, that's just how I, I've always been comfortable fishing that way. So. That's why they make them. This thing was also, I think, um, I think it was like 130 bucks plus tax. I got it on Dick's Sporting Goods online. This thing is sold out, man, like everywhere. I checked Amazon, it's out of stock. They had the 301As, um, which is probably perfectly fine. I, I don't even know if, how much difference there really is between the 301 and the 401. Uh, but yeah, funny story. Um, I ordered this thing off of Dick's, I guess, I don't know four or five days ago. It came yesterday and the a little piece of the line guide, I think it's called the Paul cap, had a big crack in it. It's made of plastic. And uh, yeah, so I was, I was kind of disappointed at first. I was like, okay, hey, you know, this is not good, you know, but I actually looked up online um, where there, you can buy replacement parts for it. And I just ordered it. It was like 10 bucks, which might be a little expensive for a tiny little plastic part, but hey, is what it is, it's if it's gonna fix the reel. But Jamie recommended that I call Dick's um, customer service and let them know that they sent me technically a broken reel. Like I'm not the type to like complain too much. I just kinda, I figured, all right, well, the reel's fine. It's just got a crack in one little piece. So I'll just order the part myself. What, what could it be, five, 10 bucks? But she, uh, she told me to call and I'm glad she did, man, because I called and they were so nice. The guy I, I spoke with, he straight up is sending me a, a whole new reel, a whole new one, Cardiff um, 4, 401A. I couldn't believe it, man. I'm like, so do I return the one that you guys just sent? He's like, no, if it's broken, just throw it out. What? Are you kidding me? So unbelievable. So I'm just gonna get the replacement part for this and then they're gonna send me a new one. Watch, that one's broken too. And then I do it again and they send me a third one. That'd be hilarious. But yeah, I'm stoked. So I'm gonna have two of these. First impressions of the reel, super light, just like the rod and fits really nice in my hands. I mean, I have pretty big hands, but even if I didn't, I think it, it, it would curve nice. This, this rounded edge just feels nice to hold on to. I think it's a lot of reels, the low pro profile reels and stuff like that, they could kind of be a little jagged on the outside and be uncomfortable, but this thing kind of molds like right into your hand, man. So I'm stoked about that. It's nice, it's a five, two to one ratio. So you're gonna have that nice, real slow retrieve for, for swim baits. You know, I'm no professional swim bait fisherman, but from my research, um, the consensus says that you're gonna be really slow rolling this thing. Um, so that's cool. I think it holds up. What does it got? Yeah, so it's got four, four A stainless steel ball bearings, one A stainless steel roller bearing, super stopper, anti reverse plus assist stopper, um, Shimano variable brake system, paddle knob, power handle. The handle's cool. I mean, I was actually kind of expecting this to have a little bit bigger of a handle, but. I don't think it's going to be a problem, and if, if it is, I could always just order a, an aftermarket handle to throw on there. Um, feels really nice, though. 
what else? Yeah, 5 2 to 1 ratio, and the line capacity is 330 yards of 12 pound, 250 yards of 14 pound, 220 yards of 17 pound, and 165 yards of 20 pound. I am going to be throwing 25 pound Berkeley Trilene Big Game Mono. Um, I know a lot of guys like to throw um, braided. Um, you know, I was watching those tactical bassin guys and they, I noticed they throw 80 pound braid to about a 30, 35 pound fluoro leader. Um, yeah, I mean, I may do that at some point, but I know that braided line um, can really dig into itself sometimes and you load up to cast and, you know, I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It's definitely happened to me once or twice where you load up to cast and it digs into itself and you're your lure just goes soaring, you know, further than any cast you've ever thrown because uh, it just snaps. So uh, a buddy of mine really knows this stuff and he recommended that I, that I just start out with the mono and try the mono. That's all he uses and he has no problems at all. So yeah, man, I like it. First impressions of the reel, sweet. First impressions of the rod, sweet. Um, I got a few swim baits that I, you know, mostly just cheaper stuff, Savage Gear, uh, line through uh, Savage Gear jig. Um, I got this eight inch light trout Savage Gear line through. I mean, you know, obviously they're no Huddleston, um, but the paint job looks great on it. You know, we'll see what the action does. I, I haven't used one of these yet, but you know, I heard they're pretty decent. I got a, uh, I think I got a Storm Arashi Glide coming. I think I'm gonna get a couple of those S waivers, uh, 200s. Um, obviously I want to get a couple huddle stands at some point and maybe like uh, bait sanity. There's, there's so many swim baits out there. If you have any recommendations, you know, for your favorite swim baits or swim baits that is just like an absolute must that you, you have to have in your arsenal, definitely let me know in the comments and I'm fired up man. you know, we're going to see how it fishes. Definitely check back in. I'm going to take this thing out in the next coming week or so once uh, we get settled in with this new move here and hopefully the next fishing video you see is me pulling in a monster striper or a monster largemouth on this exact year. I'm very excited. If you enjoyed this video, definitely let us know in the comment section. Drop a like for us and, and don't forget to hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section, drop a like, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. Uh, she sucks at this. Horrible actress. I married a horrible, horrible actress. Come on, it's so funny. Horrible. <laughs>